Okay, good morning everybody. This is uh, another update on the captain's tank. This is captain's tank part four. And uh, there have been a couple of changes inside of the tank that I've made over the past week here. Um, first of all, I've just added four Antheus fish to the aquarium itself. And you can see one of them in the background there. It's uh, pink and yellow in color. Um, I've added these fish because I just want to see a bit of variety to the tank itself. Um, these fish normally swim in a school, so they sort of stick together. Um, just because they've been introduced recently, um, they're still in the back of the tank, so they're a little bit shy. I've also uh, adjusted the landscape of the tank itself by shifting around a couple of corals. Um, the particular coral that you see there in the middle was actually located on the right hand side of the tank where you see the green coral at the bottom. And I've shifted it actually because of the fact that the coral itself was getting quite large um, and it was actually pushing up into the orange sponge that you see there. Corals actually, uh, from what I've read, secrete a chemical and this chemical is actually sort of a, a mechanism which will act as a defense for the coral itself. It'll actually try and create space around itself and space is what it needs because it doesn't want to compete with other corals itself for food. So it'll secrete a, uh, a chemical and that chemical should actually have some effect on the other coral itself which may be close to it. So in order to give it some more room I just shifted it over to the middle of the tank itself. What I did as well was that I added a little bit of substrate into the tank. I added maybe about uh, one to one and a half kilograms of crushed coral sand. That was just to bring up the uh, size of the bed because whenever it is that um, I'm doing a water change and a water change was done yesterday because I do one every week as I would mentioned before you'll probably suck up a bit of sand and then over the past uh, couple of months now the substrate layer itself was getting thinner and thinner so I decided to add a little bit of that. It also helps as well with um, the diatoms which you can get into the tank itself. This particular uh, tank here I feed the fish twice a day as I said with pellets and also a combination of shrimp, mussels, um, uh, some phytoplankton, or oyster feast, various things. And all of this stuff that goes into the tank itself, when it's not filtered, um, the remainder of it can build up, leading to excess nutrient inside of the tank. Excess nutrient means that basically algae will start to build up. Um, diatoms are a result of that, etc. Um, add in some fresh substrate actually helps deal with that as well. So that's basically it for me. I hope you've enjoyed uh, taking a look at the update to the Captain's Tank Part 4.